Now for the flute, I don't agree with either of these miking techniques because the sound comes out along the holes. You lift the thing, the sound comes out here. Very little of the sound ends up down here at the end of the pipe. And if you put the microphone right here, you're going to get like Jethro Tull because they make the sound just like you make the sound on a Coke bottle or a beer bottle or something. You know, you go, you got that whole sound. When they're tugging, it's and you pick that up. Who wants that? That's the Jethro Tull got his sound because he was too close to the mic and everybody said, well, listen to that. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, but we love it. Okay, great. <laughs> you know, but that was the sound. Well, okay, he did it. You can't do it again. <laughs> so let's try to get a clean sound out of the flute. I've done four CDs with a classical flautist. One with flute and harp, two or three with flute and piano. The fourth one was piano and acoustic guitar and cello. There was cello on that one too. And she played the flute. Ah, amazing woman. She was in the L.A. Phil when she was 19 years old. Some of the stuff she played was just amazing stuff. Well, I got my nice microphone, put it here, right about this far away from the flute so I don't get any click, 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 click from the keys, and none of the All I got was a pure flute sound with overtones, clean, good flute sound with a nice condenser microphone. That's the way you mic a flute, anyways. I wouldn't do it that way. Now with the harmonica, that's the way they do it live in their hands into an amplifier, a dynamic mic, and they hold on to it, and they play the harmonica. But in the studio, you're not going to do that. You're going to get hand sound on the tape. I don't know if I told you this story, but Tommy Morgan was the first call harmonica player in town. You could read, play harmonica. Yeah. Played great. High noon, all that, do 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 de do de de da with Kerry Cooper and all that, that's Tommy Morgan. All the harmonica stuff you ever heard for the Westerns or anything like that on, that's recorded is Tommy Morgan. So he used to come in the studio and record. He had whatever harmonica you wanted. He played them all and could read on all of them. And we would have a nice condenser, you know, out here in Tommy would play. So I would tell all my students this story. And then, you know, after years went by, I said, Jeebus, you know, is my memory right? Tommy never brought it then with the, with the hands. I don't ever remember that. Last fall, I run into Tommy Morgan. Say, Tommy, yeah. Tommy, you know, I tell my students, you never, I don't know, Mike, I don't go in the studio and hold a microphone. You got those nice microphones. I stand, you know, I said, right, Tommy, that's all I wanted to know. The harmonica is an important thing. It's a, it's a character sound. If you're recording a blues album with somebody, somebody's going to play harmonica someplace. But in the film thing, could either give you the European feel, or definitely can be written into a score, and you may have to record harmonica. Now, clarinet. That's about where to record the clarinet, except for I would have the mic facing the holes a little bit more with a nice condenser. French horn, mo a lot of people mic the French horn like that, but you need to mic the French horn with a reflection. Back that French horn against the wall like this so that bell is now aiming from there and put the microphone in front of it like here. If you're a French horn player, I'm the conductor, I'm hearing you in front of you. That's why they have their hand there, it reflects the sound out. But the overtones are developed by the time they get out here, not down there at the bell. You won't get as full a sound there. With the tuba, that's the only place you can mic it. And with the saxophone, that's excellent also. The trumpet and the trombone, I like to see a 45-degree angle rather than, you know, slapping right against the diaphragm. 